I take my chance. This eccentric load is me talking out loud to convince myself to just keep going. Four. This eccentric load is for Bolaños. Super stuff on the weekend. This eccentric load. So when I planned my... Just finished physical therapy. It was very good, progressing, uh, not quite there yet but getting better just uh, encouraging any of you who are injured to keep at it uh, it can be really helpful to find a another aspect to keep your mind busy either watching soccer or or perhaps doing something completely different but uh, just a word of encouragement yeah so after the six month mark you find that you get to do a lot more progression in regards to gentle jumping one thing that's really important for all of you is i started working on an ultra g machine an ultra g machine basically lifts you out of a running position using air and then you start running but only at 80 percent of your body weight so it's like running on the moon and this ultra g machine which i have a clip here really shows or enables you, I should say, to start to get running faster because you're not putting your full pressure. And I did this for a pretty long time before running without it, and it was really helpful. Then you get to start touching a soccer ball a little bit. You'll start dribbling in this six to nine month. If you have a traditional ACL, nothing else, you know, in three, three months, you might be playing soccer. In my case, because I had also torn my meniscus and I had some of the setbacks, unfortunately, that we spoke about before, I wasn't going to be ready in time and I express my sadness towards that in in this video and other videos but one thing I can tell you that's really important is once you've hit the six month mark and you start to make a lot of progressions make sure you continue on the mobility path so you're gonna to go to physical therapy they're gonna focus on your knee but as I learned early on the mobility is a really important piece of all of this so be sure you keep working on your flexion your extension which if you're in the surgery now you'll know what those words mean and it's really important that you monitor how you feel there are certain things that the physical therapist might do that bother you even though it's traditional like they're trying to help you gain better flexion so they'll squeeze your heel to your butt but if it hurts you don't do it say to yourself say to them hey that hurts let's just not do it that way or let's wait a week that's not going to be the difference of you getting better sooner or not your body is warning you with that pain that it's too much the body will tell you when it's ready to go on to the next step. So that's my one year reflection, you could say, on those three to six months. And again, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, like, subscribe, the whole deal. And I'll talk to you guys soon.